lost two of the eight babies. Um, the pain is getting easier to deal with. Um, one died yesterday on my birthday, and one died this morning in my hands. And it's like they just failed to thrive. Um, whenever uh, I discovered it, it was cold, it was wrinkly, it obviously hadn't tried to eat. It wouldn't try to eat. I took it to the chicken coop and put it under a heating lamp and it started like moving more but it was like gagging or something and like frothing at the mouth. It just, it just failed. So, um, we have 12 babies instead of uh, 14. So, um, that's, it's okay. We have six that are still okay, and hopefully they will continue to be okay. They've all eaten this morning. Um, the other six babies, uh, one is, we noticed, was like a runt, and it's terrible, but he is completely blind. I noticed yesterday on my birthday that one of his eyes was boggy, and uh, this morning I was talking to Ricky about it, and he said, well, hold, hold on to it and he like pretended like he was going to swat it in the face and did not react at all. I thought he was uh, blind only in one eye because the other one is more red but still kind of foggy. But I noticed he acts strange. He was like, he roams around, he acts much more afraid whenever I touch him or if anything touches him. Um, seems like he's only familiar with mom and what to do with mom. Um, he's not as uh, participatory when it comes to munching on the grass and whatnot, but he's blind. So we have another disabled animal on R and R homestead. We have our little duck with the messed up leg, and now a blind bunny. Must have had some wind. Blew my netting completely off but not a single Japanese beetle. And I haven't seen any buzzing around for quite a while. All my traps have got so heavy they fell off. Um, I read that they're only prolific like May through June and it's the, a third of the way through July. So there's a dead one. Um, I guess we're done with the threat of Japanese beetles, so I'm going to wait and see if, when it warms up a bit after it's quit sprinkling and see if um, there are any over there. But if there aren't, then I'm taking the nets off my trees. My volunteer peas or beans are going absolutely nuts. I can't wait to see what they produce. I got that other coop in the chicken yard. I used uh, the big old truck because my tractor just wasn't strong enough. But I s took 80 chicks and put it in the big one. And um, I've just been letting the ones in this coop run around all day. And uh, they're getting a little more brave as about as how far they go away from their houses. But now that they have another house in here, they uh, are going under it. But I had to do some repairs um, because the first time we tried to pull it, this leg broke. And then um, as I, I reached, I shored up the front and then and got it out of that soft place. And whenever I got it out, this leg broke. So I had to repair it. And then once I got it repaired and shored up those, I drove it all around that field. And then I pulled the truck up right here and I pulled that post out and drove it in here. And uh, I wanted it beside this one, but um, I needed to be able to get the truck back out. So I had to pull it in more. Um, and I decided the chickens don't care where their house is, so I don't care where it is. But um, I'm just super excited to have both my coops in my chicken area. Um, they've got their nesting boxes. They're trying them out. <laughs> Hi guys! Um, so uh, it's a lot better now that I have them split up because they have much more room. I actually want more than 80 in this coop uh, because it's larger. Uh, but that's how many I caught because some of them were outside. Um, but this evening we are going to uh, 
wait until dusk and see if the chicks go inside on their own like they're supposed to. <clears throat> because I have, I've been starting everyone out really early. Um, the baby bunnies, <laughs> I have, I enjoy taking them out of their cage and finding a little clover patch, um, usually in a shady place, and I just put the, all six of them in the clover patch, and I'll pick the little white flowers and put them up to their mouths, and they're only like two weeks old, I think, but they eat these, so... They all have their eyes open except for that one, so they might want to go outside. Hey, good morning. Big old lazy. There's nothing cuter than putting bunnies in any kind of container. These are in an old feeding box, and they're adorable, and they make the whole box adorable. But I wanted to put them over here so they can eat some clover so you can see how adorable they make it. <clears throat> I was talking about a blind rabbit and I wanted to kind of try to show you his eyes. See how it's murky? And this one is less murky? Now let's look at one with healthy eyes. See how red they are? Turn around, let me show you the other one. Much different. And he wanders around like he doesn't know where he's going. Um, he runs into things. It's really quite sad. Um, he's the only one I haven't been able to convince to eat a clover. Um, all the others, they nibble around in their environment and check on everything. But him? He doesn't know where everyone is. He's he's lost. I try to like call him over. Oh, you guys find a good hiding spot. Um, but he doesn't react to the sound of my voice right now. So whenever we come outside, I usually end up having to grab him and put him with the others. So he just ran into my knee. Poor thing. Oh, he found a brother. There! Yay! You know what that smell is. I feel so bad for him. But I'm going to protect him. Aren't they just adorable? Oh my goodness! Uh oh. Blind one's got away again. <laughs> We're all just sitting out here in our cages today. Um, Nachir has run of the uh, rabbit tractor that I built. But I, I just enjoy taking them out here and letting them explore the universe. <laughs> you look so important. Yes, you do. One of them, uh, probably that one, uh, or that one, but whenever we were over and by the house under the trees, he was running around, like, ears perked up, like, he looked like a rabbit you'd see in the wild. Look, there he goes. <laughs> but he hasn't figured out, oh, he just ran over his brother. He hasn't figured out, um, how to see in front of him, since, uh, He's obviously prey and doesn't have forward-facing eyes, and so he crashes into things a lot. Oh, that one went running. <laughs> Do you smell your mama? We're close to her. <laughs> See his little ears? <laughs> oh, I can't get over how cute they are. Where are you going? That bunny found the best hiding spot. Are you hidden under a morning glory? I found ya.